Hey guys, so today I'll be going to school to register for classes. So you're going to see what my hair looks like. It looks like this, basically. Emo face said what? But yeah, I'm gonna figure out something to do with this. I wanted to twist it, but then my mom's like, it's probably not gonna hold <laughs> anymore. So I have to use rubber bands on the ends. But uh, I'll see you the next clip when I figure out what to do with this, okay? <clears throat> All right, see you guys later. Alright guys, I'm back. So I put it in a top knot like this. I think it looks pretty good. You'll see it better outside in the lighting. But anyway, my camera's on one cell, so I'm going to switch it with this one. And put this one to charge. Alright, so see you guys. <laughs> Okay guys, so I'm in Starbucks right now. I just paid my tuition. As you probably saw in the B-roll, but right now I'm going to register for classes. I'm going to show you what I have in my card. I should screen record my screen, right? Yeah, I'm going to start recording my screen so you can see it on the side. But, but this is going to be like a register for me kind of vlog. Register with me, okay? Alright, let's go. Okay, we're back. I also, I need to get a printout of how much everything costs because my scholarship, they want a printout or some documentation that I'm actually in classes. Guys, this is my favorite professor, Professor Benito Mendoza. He did this research project of Swarm Intelligence for AI. Um, I did research with him like one summer, like two summers ago. But yeah, I'm trying to get into this AI class, but Obviously, I'm locked out. But I'm gonna try and get it. Oh, here it is. Here's the flyer for the class. I'm gonna try and get in for next semester. I need to get in that class before I graduate. Alright. There's a bird in here. Hey, busy guys. So I got the permission to take the class. I'm officially taking nine credits. And I have classes Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. One class on Friday from 8 to 11. One class on Wednesday. Two classes on Thursday. One class on Tuesday. So, I do have morning classes, which I hate. But I'm just going to try and push through with this semester. Um, what is this? Is a pimple? Oh my god, don't look at it. But this is our new building. It's a wide open space. It's like, to let nature in. But there's actually like a bird in here. A few seconds ago, I have to pee, so I have to the bathroom. So, I'm done. Here's my stuff. I had my iPad out because I was watching Lena Lifts. She goes to NYU. And um, I was calling my mom on Google Duo because she has an Android phone. And I was FaceTiming my sister to check up on her second day of school up at Buffalo State. I sat to post the Buffalo State moving vlog where we drove my sister up to Buffalo and then we helped her move in and set up her dorm. So I still have to post that. But I'm running out of light right now and I'm just using this big window right here for light. That's the NAM building. This is the academic complex. The new one. This. There should be a gym in here and I hope there's a pool but there is going to be a gym. And there's like a lounge down there right here and i'll find out how to get there so hopefully before i leave today I find out how to get in there and i hope it's open if it's not open we're not gonna see it but there's also like this island thing i don't know what's here i think this was a setup like a cafe here or something but there's outlets and stuff there's a sink let me see if the water works the water does work yeah there's nothing in the cabinet, so I'm not sure where that's supposed to be. But it's there. I think I made a video on this already, but I forgot to post it, or I posted it and nobody watched it. So we're making this video again. Oh, also, I forgot to mention, like, at these, like, benches, it's, like, one big thing. But there's also, like, USB and outlets. So I'm just charging my phone and my laptop at this one. 
Okay, let's go because you can see that it got darker because we're running out of sunlight. Okay, guys, I've got to show you, but this is the fit for today. My denim jacket, my sweetener world tour cross back, and my camo. I'm like, I'm not wearing any pants, but yeah, this Starbucks shirt that I got from Five Below. Okay, all right, see you guys next clip. So I'm on the top floor of this building. You can see the really nice view out the window because it's like a really big window here. But the thing is that I was, I commented on Leon Lips video that actually from this building, you can see NYU's dorms here. And you can really see people in here. So I'm gonna zoom in and show you. So you can like literally see people like in their dorm room. So they should like invest in curtains. And I'm pretty sure they're either dorm rooms or curtains because it's the exact same layout in like every room. Like there's a bookcase. That's the desk because that's the exact same desk that was at Buffalo State when I threw my sister out. There's like the top bookcase part and then there's the desk part because I can see someone working on it like literally right there. You can see the furniture is all the same, like the stuff on it's all different, and that's tanned in NYU dorms. So, yeah, curtains are a must. Well, they do have blinds. You can see that some of them are like pulled down, but not all of them. Most of them are actually open. But also, I want to show you with the view. So over here is a park i played soccer there with some people first semester the first semester was here and there's also a basketball court and a field i guess you can play baseball there and soccer but we played soccer we we do have a quad like down here like right there but I'm not sure if it's open yet, and most of this building is like glass, so there's like a lot of dead birds down there because it just runs straight into this glass. But yeah, this building actually won gold for sustainability because most of the light actually comes from the windows and not from like electricity. So yeah, we're relying on solar power here. Also, the thing about this vending machine is everything in here, you see the gummy bears right here the gummy worms and the gummy bears they're two dollars here but at buffalo state they're a dollar sixty they're also two dollars at john jay i'm not sure about any other schools but i know a fact here is two dollars and it's two dollars at john jay because this is a city like it charges more money plus if you use a card at the machine they charge you an extra 10 cents they do the same thing in buffalo because i paid 170 Oh my god, I'm vlogging here, and there's really people in this classroom right here. So, yeah, it's like a big open space. These Ottomans here are new. They just came here last year. They're not like Ottomans that you can open up, but they're just like seating areas. So sometimes people like take naps on these. There's outlets like near them. Okay. I should be in my used dorms. And this is like, this is downtown Brooklyn. So obviously this is in New York. That's a hotel. That's a hotel. That's a hotel. All these here is our hotels. This is George Westinghouse High School. I'm pretty sure it's also City Poly. They have a program. Oh, that's also the bridging into Manhattan. They have a program where you can take college classes and you can get your associate degree and your um, high school degree at the same time. So there's a lot of kids here who are in that program because I remember when I got my associate degree, one of the kids in my class was from there. Okay. Okay, let me stop watching people in their dorms. 
even though it's fun to watch people. Why is everyone wearing a gray t-shirt? <laughs> okay, bye. Bye guys. I'll see you in the next scene. Yeah, I forgot to tell you, this is the eighth floor. The floor you saw me on before was the second, and also it's supposed to be a cafe because I saw the thingy. Yeah. Let's see, this is the eighth floor, and I was on the third floor. That's supposed to be a cafe and it has biology classrooms there. So in this building, there's biology mostly, and like dentistry, and like vision care. Those students are here. I'm the elevator right now. This building actually has escalators in it, so I'll show you the escalators now. No, oh, if it's backwards, then it's Shannon. Anyways, but he's cute. Okay, I see here the escalators. The up escalator was actually broken. That's why I took the elevator. But oh, we're close to the quad now, so you can see it even more. yeah so we have all these trees and stuff too there's a lot of nature here i don't go out there so bad but i don't know when it's going to be open i should ask security when i get down there but once again this is nyu's dorm like right next to us which is weird because we don't even have dorms we should get dorms <laughs> well actually cuny does have like the whole university system does have dorms that's like in dumbo but I think it's like kind of expensive. But then again, every college is room and board is expensive. It's like three thousand dollars or something like that. Hey, do you know if the quad is open? No, right here, like this outside area. You need a permit to go out there. Oh, it's just like an event space. Okay, what about this lounge here? They're all invent spaces. Oh, do you know if the gym is open yet? Not until 2020? Okay, thank you. You too. Yeah, like I was showing you before, right here it says the Leeds Gold. That's because this building is super sustainable. So this is the outside of that building. It's kind of an ugly color green, which is kind of disappointing. But like this half of the building over here is glass. You can't hear me because of the train. That's the name of the building. Oh yeah, so what he was saying was that the quad and that lounge that I was talking about before are both event spaces so you need a permit to be able to use it so I'm guessing if I like start a club and I ask them like hey can we use that space for something they'll let us if this building right here is NYU this is their Jacobs building their Tandon engineering school is here you can see the banner is here the gym is actually right here. Like a couple of years ago in 2014, they had their Spring Fest, which is an anime convention that was held here. But they haven't had that convention in four years, five years actually. Okay. So I'm hungry, but they also have a part of Starbucks here. But I went, there's a Starbucks like right here. But I went in there earlier today and they took out all the seats so it's only standing in there but they just have the tables which is dumb okay Let's see this is nyu you can see all their thingies i'm gonna have to flip the image because obviously you can't read that I'm pretty sure this is a lab because I can see like the back of 3D printers here. Also, I think this is also their first day of school because I'm seeing a lot of people with um, 2023 shirts on. Oh yeah, see? Yeah, 
if you can read that, that says Ultimaker, and Ultimaker makes 3D printers. So, yeah, but this area I'm in right now is kind of like a quad for like all the buildings in this area. There's like Chase, and there's a lot of tech companies, but mostly FinTech, because obviously it's in New York City, so everything is like finance. But this is a quad that NYU uses, obviously the city uses, anyone just comes here. There's Chipotle and the Five Guys and the Cafe Metro. They're all very expensive. But sometimes you own a Prete Manje. How do you say that? But obviously sometimes you just have to bite the bullet and eat here. But yeah, all these trees here are about to, they're green now, but they're about to turn yellow for fall. And it looks very picturesque in here. So obviously if you keep following me, like and subscribe for yellow trees. I'll probably insert a picture of what it looks like in fall. This is the off angle by the way. I always think this is a real dog, yeah. but it's a statue. During the Christmas holiday season, they also like put up a big Christmas tree right here. But it's obviously not there because it's not Christmas and it's still August. But it's kind of chilly for August. And I don't know where I'm going because I'm showing you all these places. <laughs> kind of awkward to be filming in public but so far it's kind of okay I guess I'm gonna post this video before all my other videos because obviously this one's time of the essence because it's the first day of school <sighs> but oh yeah so I got my classes are differential equations and component and subsystems design one and feedback control systems. Those are my three classes I'm taking this semester. Those are very hard classes, by the way. As they should be, because they're senior level classes. Well, one of them's an intro class, but like an intro senior level class. If you're in college, you know what I'm talking about. If you want some quick advice, I'm gonna give you a couple of things real quick. So today's the first day of school, which means all the lines are really long. But financial aid, the ID office, the registrar, bursa, all that are open during the summer. So if you don't wait in a long line, come the first day of school. Just come in like the middle of summer. Even like last week, the building was totally empty. The library's open and everything. You can get everything done in the summertime, so you won't have to wait in a long line. You should probably know who the heads of your department is because then you can get permissions for classes if they're closed or any prerequisites and you want to take them now. You can just email them and then get the permission. Because I have to say, I have to email uh, my program coordinator, which is the coordinator for like our entire computer engineering department. And then she just said permission granted and I was able to register for classes. I'm at Golden Fried Dumpling right here. This is also a very like nice location. There's a seating area out front. But yeah, they have like really cheap dumplings here, like 10 for like a dollar fifty. Always get the pork and chai. They also have beef, I guess. I think that's what I'm gonna get for my lunch. Usually they have tables out, but the tables are folded up right now. And also this is nail story. They're a very highly rated nail salon. I got a manicure there like a couple of months ago, but it's like $15 and not worth it. I feel like I shaped my nails better than they ever could. But I have pretty nails, right? I get that compliment all the time. So if you say no, I know you're lying. But yeah, this is on Willoughby. This is near my school. It's like a short walk right next to the Metro Tech Center I just showed you and right next to NYU. This is actually kind of like a hidden gem. So if you come to New York and come to Brooklyn specifically, don't be hogging up everything. Okay, people are watching me vlog. <laughs> okay, so there's this pop-up green space right here. Like, they have grass. It's probably turf, you know, like fake grass. But it says, will be square pop-up here. But I got my dumplings. So that's gonna be my dinner and my battery's on one cell. So if this vlog ends soon, love to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm gonna be doing college vlogging, so. Let me know what kind of vlogs you want to see next. And yeah, I'm just 
just gonna head home now since I got my food and I'm done with. 